Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Janae Nichols, in case you're new. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys this wig from Best Lace Wig. So starting off, I'm going to brush back my hair and then put my wig cap on. And this wig cap did come with the wig. Also, you receive a wax stick, a rat tail comb, an edge brush, and again, a wig cap. And you also receive a book showing you how to apply the wig and different ways to care for the wig. Right here, I'm going to do my ball cap method. I'm using my Got To Be Free spray in the yellow can. And I'm just spraying that along the hairline. And I did already cut my ears out for the ball cap method. For my blow dryer, I'm using my Silverbird on high heat, high speed. And then I go in with my powder. This is the same powder that's on my face. I'm just putting that all over the cap. And then I do go back in with my scissors and cut away any of that extra wig cap off. So right here I have the wig on my head and I just use a wax stick that I already had. And I'm gonna take my hot comb and just flatten out the front. For glue, I'll be using the one by Kiss. I love using this glue because I did buy the remover with it. So it's super easy to take off. So whenever I do want to use actual lace glue, I always reach for this one just because, like I said, I already have the remover. And I was going to do one side first, but then you guys will see that I ended up just doing the whole thing at one time. And I did two layers of this glue. So the information on this wig is it does have six inch parting and it does have color to it. As you guys can see, it is an ombre color with highlights and the lace is transparent. The hair length is 20 inches and the wig density is 150%. This wig did come already pre-plucked, so I didn't pluck it at all, but I did go ahead and bleach the knot. So I feel like I'm always a little too impatient to let my glue dry clear, so I just go ahead and lay the lace on top, and then I use the back of my comb to smooth that in. <laughs> So after all the lace is laid on top of the glue, I do use an adjustable band just to put it over my edges to like really melt in the lace. And I keep that on for about 10 minutes and then I take it off and then it's time to cut the actual lace off. So like I said, this lace is transparent and I would highly suggest that you guys tint the lace because in the end, you guys will see that you can kind of see my lace just because it is so light. Um, I did try to put makeup on it, but at certain angles, you can still see the lace. So I would definitely recommend that you guys just skip the whole makeup part and just tint it. It'll look way more natural. So the wine curler that I'm using is from T3. I'll make sure to leave it down below for you guys. And I'm just curling away from my face. I'm taking pretty small sections because I do want it to be super defined. I don't want it to fall. And for my spray, I did use my Nairobi shaving hole to keep it in place all day. <laughs> This is the final look. Again, this wig is from Best Lace Wigs. I will have all the information for this wig down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one.